Okay, so now I'm going to explain the velocity time graph of an object speeding up in a positive direction. So basically we took um, the all the instantaneous um, velocities of each one of these points and we made we made the graph into a linear graph as you can see. Um, so from this graph we can, we can get the equation velocity equals 12 centimeters per second squared times time plus 35 centimeters per second. And so you can use this equation to find the velocity at a certain time, um, t. And so basically the slope means that for every second that passes, the object's uh, velocity will increase by 12 centimeters per second. And as you can see, our y-intercept is going to be our initial velocity. And our initial velocity in this case is 35 centimeters per second, uh, which means that the object um, has an initial velocity of 35 centimeters per second and as time goes on that number will increase. So by taking the area underneath the velocity time graph here we can find the total displacement of the object and the displacement here as you can see is approximately 20 or 248 um, centimeters which means that um, in this time interval the object will travel about 248 centimeters. And again, by just looking at the velocity graph and its slope, since the slope is positive and this graph is in the first quadrant, which is positive, um, because when you have positive velocity and your acceleration is positive, you do know that your object is speeding up.